What's up, guys? I'm going to review Red Hood and the Outlaws, the number zero issue. Now, I do have a few complaints with this uh, issue. Uh, one of the biggest problems I had is that it's all about Red Hood and not Arsenal and Starfire. Now, the zero issues are always about the characters' past and how they came to be, sort of. Um, or some kind of backstory. Uh, but it only had Red Hood, which Red Hood is obviously the main character. He's held by his title. And it has the Outlaws. So he's, he's he made a team called the Outlaws, basically. And it makes me believe that it's possible that one day Starfire and Arsenal may lead the team. Or they might have more members of the team. But um, he's the main character. And it just gives you a backstory of how he became Robin. Because Red Hood actually is the original Robin. Now, uh, beforehand, uh, the Joker used to go by the name of the Red Hood. Well, he actually comes back and using the Joker's uh, actual first name, the Red Hood. Um, it was a pretty good, you know, uh, this Robin, Jason Todd, uh, when he gets uh, found by Batman, becomes Robin. He actually gets killed by the Joker, and, uh, and uh, Ra's al Ghul, or Ra's al Ghul, whatever you want to pronounce it as, revives him by throwing him into the Lazarus Pit. And he comes out, and he actually dons the identity of the Red Hood, and that's the story he's sticking to it. Um, it was an entertaining issue, um, just, that was, the only problem I really had with it was the fact that it was only about Red Hood, but it's gonna be so long, I suppose, it was, it was nice to know how exactly he was, uh, I guess, created in a sense, it's actually pretty funny, I don't want to actually want to spoil it, you know, um, but it, it, it shows you how much, how, how he was created, and how he got started, and his death, and and stuff, and it, it, it really was, it's not needed to, uh, I guess, to, for the plot, um, how, but, it's nice to know how some of the characters came to be, and that's what this issue is all about, it's all about Red Hood, and I said, the only complaint I really have is just, uh, it being only his origin story, um, another thing is the artwork, and it looks really good on the cover, right, but in there, in certain pages, the artwork seems a bit, uh, I don't know, it just doesn't really look right. It seems a bit uh, low detail. I kind of expected it to be a slightly better. Because um, I remember seeing, I'm, I've been reading the Deathstroke comics, and those comics have been awesome. So here it kind of reminds me of the Archie comics at times. Um, other than that, I, I gave it a, it's a, a good 4 out of 5. It's not needed, but it's, it's really cool to see how he was created. Um, uh, now, another thing you probably could watch is actually the movie for Red Hood. Red Hood movie is actually really, really good, I thought, anyways. But uh, I plan to review the first issue later on. Um, I think the actual uh, one I bought is the actual uh, book, the graphic novel. It comes with issues 1 through 7. Um, I actually bought issue 8 and up uh, separately. Um, it was a bit cheaper to actually just buy the actual uh, 1 through 7 issue for the graphic novel all in one set. Um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna really keep rambling on. Um, but uh, if you guys like this actual uh, comic, let me know. Give me a, a thumbs up if you do. I'll see y'all guys next time.